All right, so we're going to take a quick look at how to add a control dial to turn a bunch of other dials on and off, basically. Um, what we've got right now, if we come down here to Victoria 6 and dial in, the Victoria, dial in Victoria 6 and pose the arm a little bit. We're currently used back to Victoria 6. All right, and you can see we've got these JCMs here that apply basically clean up the elbow of Victoria 6 when it bends um, and this product has a whole slew of them if I were to filter out filter filter was it CMKH you can see there's a whole whole slew of these of these morphs the thing is we don't want to force the users um, we don't want to force the change on a Victoria 6 we want to give the users the option so we want to include a control dial that lets them basically turn all these on and off at the same time and the way we'll do that is, is, is I'm going to copy this, get rid of that, stop filtering. I'm going to Control Shift F to restore the figure just because it's easier to work clean. Oh, make sure I've got the actual figure selected. And I'm going to find a place to put my dial. I'm going to put the dial right here because this seems like the best place. Right click uh, to bring up the menu, go into edit mode, right click anywhere, go down to uh, create new property. And we're going to name this property, not that. We're going to name this property, copy it from there because I'm too lazy to type it all out. We're going to name the property that. Uh, it's the control channel for ultimate natural for V6. And we're going to set the type as a shape because of where we want it because of where we're putting it, we want it to show up with the rest of the shaping dials in the shaping tab, even though it probably a bit more of a pose um, so that it shows up correctly and everything. We're going to put it over in the, in the shaping type. Uh, I'm going to leave the color in the cards and all that for, for now. I'll leave the limits turned on. Change the minimum to zero because we want zero to one. It's either on or it's off. We don't want a percent. Now we're going to go ahead and create that. If we scroll down, we can see that it's here now. Right now it doesn't do anything. If right now it doesn't do anything, we want to go ahead and hook that up over here. Um, probably the easiest way to do it be find it over here. And you can do that. I think this works. Let me see. Showing property hierarchy. There it is. And you can see where is it? Yep, subcomponents. As a subcomponent, what we're going to do is we'll go to the hidden. We'll put in the C M K H, and that'll list all of the morphs in this set. And we're just gonna shift click to select them all. We're gonna drag them all over here to the control dial, subcomponents, multiply and divide, and then just we're gonna check one, make sure that it's saving with the JCM, and it's set to multiply. So everything there is good. To go now, if we were to go back in, we get out of edit mode here real quick. If we go back in and get out of that, cause it's confusing. Go back into to 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 to, to, to Victoria Six, and we bend bend the elbow. You can see that it doesn't apply the morphs um, because we haven't turned them on. Oh, there it is. Because we haven't turned them on, which we do using this dial down here. We turn them on, and now if I come back up to currently used, they're applied and working. So that's an on and off dial, and they still only work when we have the Victoria 6 body dialed in. But now we've got a control dial that turns them all on and off so the users can decide whether or not they want to use them. And that's all there is to it. You did have to go back in and resave all the morphs. Um, but other than that, that's all there is to it.